Hey everyone, it's Mikey420 again. Uh, just a quick follow up to my triple booting. Now I'm doing the quad boot with XP Professional, uh, XP Media Center, Vista, and of course uh, OSX 10.4.8 with the uh, AMD SSE patches. So, here we go. One thing you know, I, I noticed when doing the install of Media Center and XP trying to use the Vista bootloader is that basically I have to use the XP and TLDR and boot INI to choose between XP and Media Center and then basically I consolidated them on my window here you see we have the XP professional highlight which you can't see of course and then this at the top, plus X at the bottom so if I choose XP professional as my default here It'll go to our good old boot INI type uh, boot up. So let's do media center first. The only real difference between media center and XP really is, well, media center. Um, it's made, I guess, to support TV tuners, of course, out of the box, so to say. And uh, that's really the only way, the only difference, really. Also with media center, I notice that I'm unable to get full screen overlays to appear on my secondary monitor. I'll show you a kind of example of what I'm talking about. It's probably gonna be a longer born bid, so I, I apologize. And my custom personal wallpapers, of course. <laughs> And good old media center, which again does not look to my secondary monitor. If I play movies or not. So, there's one. Okay, we'll load up uh, XP Professional just for fun. Basically what I've been doing is kind of using my Media Center XP install more as a multimedia one, whereas my Professional is more my productivity based uh, operating system. Uh, Vista, eh, I just use it to have off and on and OS X. Again, I haven't got that network adapter to really be detected, so it's kind of just for looks really nowadays. I haven't really used it since I can't get on the web with it right now. But uh, I'll have to buy a adapter one of these days to, to get on. Okay, let's see, I wonder if I finish my XP install yet. Another set of my own uh, wallpapers. If you ever are in need of widescreen wallpapers, check out my uh, DeviantArt page. I think deviantart.com slash cmonkey420. And the one nice thing about the widescreen wallpapers too is that you can use them basically pretty easily with your uh, like PS3 or Xbox. It supports the same uh, resolution as widescreen. So boring XP professional. So, there's XP now. Didn't like 
that, I guess. It, and also, another thing about the installation, the order for me was kind of important since it uh, determined the boot loader I wanted to use. So what I did is I used Media Center first, then I did XP second, and then I did Vista after that, and then finally I did OSX, and then implemented the chain, <coughs> chain zero. So let's go to OSX. Body daddy. I guess there's a way to use the Darwin bootloader also to boot to all the operating systems. However, I tend to stick with what I know the best, which is the Vista bootloader and the VCD edit commands. Oh yeah, again, you need a parallel ATA drive to get OS X86 to install on an Intel AMD machine too. Um, supposedly they haven't got the serial ATA drivers figured out yet, so mental note to you guys if you're running a serial ATA system like me. Basically what I did is I just found a 20 gig drive I had laying around and hooked her up. So now I got like four hard drives in my system or something. However, no secondary monitor support yet, but I haven't tried any API, the Titan API drivers at all or anything, since I'm happy with this thing. A build. And of course, no network support, but... Got all the widgets and gadgets and all that kind of stuff too. Or I gotta say that uh, OS X really does shut down pretty fast. I mean, that's fast. Yeah, X800 video card, uh, generic NEC UD burner. Pretty, pretty standard fare for uh, hardware, I'd say. And of course, my ever favorite Dell 24 inch monitor. So there we are, Vista, and all its beauty, beauty, I guess you'd say. Peace.